Hey, so uh, there are a lot of features in Google Chrome, and um, there are just some features that Google actually hasn't pushed out to the general public yet, and these are features that not a lot of us know about. And I was even surprised, just like, what? We have these features that nobody is even talking about. So we are going to talk about it here on this channel, and that's what we're going to do today. We'll talk about, talk about three of them. And before that, let's roll the intro. There's no actual reason to display the intro if it's just the name of the channel but we'll still roll the intro now what's up guys so today we're talking about the google chrome's experimental features which have been dubbed chrome flags and these are features that allow you to um or these enable you to just enable disable or customize some features in google chrome that haven't made it to the official you know chrome web or chrome app and uh, sometimes they, they might act weird and make chrome look feel unusable because they're still undergoing testing like i said these experimental features they're still undergoing testing by chrome's developers so you should expect some of them to act weird but then you can easily disable them when they start doing that so and so we'll be talking about three of them and three of these most interesting Chrome flags that I think every, it's very helpful and will just enable ease of access for everybody. And uh, before we even go to that, how do you get to Google Chrome flags? Basically, what you're going to do is uh, just follow me here. And the, what we're going to do is just go up in Chrome and you go into Chrome's Omnibox, which is the address bar. It's just named it Omnibox. So you go there and uh, you open up Google Chrome. Um, you just type in Chrome flags, so Chrome dot dot slash last flags, and you can now move into the three Chrome flags that we're just going to talk about. Then the very first one is uh, the horizontal tab switcher, and what this does is this allows you to even see what's on an entire page of what you recently are viewing on that particular website. So to have that uh, enabled, you just type in there in the search bar of the google chrome flags you just type in enable horizontal tab switcher and you select enable you select down there you select enabled sometimes it might be default set to default or disabled so you just have to enable it and anytime you up, uh, enable or disable a flag you have to relaunch google chrome for it to take effect it's not just automatic so you relaunch google chrome after enabling that and what we're going to see here is when you tap in your your tab yeah, you tap your tabs button. You can see now you have a, a horizontal array of your pages and websites that you recently just visited. And this is this is much cooler and much interesting and much more helpful to see what's on an, on on a page before you b without even getting into the page. And um, so that's about it for the horizontal tabs. Which the next one we're going to talk about is the Chrome Duet. And um, what this does is it allows you to bring now smartphones are becoming bigger longer and fatter and huge and some of us have small hands that can't always you know i mean if you have to get to chrome the you know your notifications panel or even chrome's uh, menu up there you have to just move your your thumb up and it's sometimes uncomfortable and so the, this Chrome flag, the Chrome Duet, allows you to just bring all that is up there above, you know, on uh, up there in Google Chrome to just down below. And what you're going to do is you're just going to type in Chrome Duet and Chrome Duet and just right up, straight up, you just see it there and just select, select enable and um, restart Chrome again. Um, yes, and then you just see sometimes you have to restart it twice. Uh, and sometimes Chrome actually tells you that you have to restart that twice uh, for the flag to take effect. So you do that. If it doesn't happen, you just do it again. Re relaunch Chrome again, and it's just gonna take effect on the second on the second try. So when you enable it, everything up there is just gonna come down, and then you know ease of access. That's what we're looking for, right? So you're getting it here in Chrome flags. And then the third and final Chrome flag we're gonna look at is much more boring than these first two it's disgusting but <laughs> um somebody might prefer that and it's it's called the uh accessibility tab switcher and what it does is it gives you a list of your your website or your pages open when you when you when you you tap in your your tab your tabs when you tab your tab you tap your tab when you tap the tab, <laughs> when you tap the tab button, okay, um, you see a list of your websites instead of a tab manner. I don't know how this is helpful, but um, maybe somebody might prefer this. So let's just take a look at it. So what you're going to do is you just type in accessibility tab switcher. 
and um, yeah and then you relaunch chrome as always and uh, you open it up again and go to your tabs and now you're gonna see it in a list this looks boring i mean if you don't think this is boring let's hear your view your opinion in the comments below which i'm not gonna agree to anyway but then let's just hear it uh, i'm just kidding let's, let's hear your opinions in the comments below actually for watch i mean there's a plethora of clone flags which you can just clone i just said clone did you hear that i said clone <laughs> Uh, there's a plethora of chrome flags that you guys can just scroll through and uh, just have fun with but be careful like i said earlier some of them can make chrome act messy and weird and unusual so just be careful like even google just told you that you can ruin your compromise your security and your privacy so okay so that'll be it for me today and uh what video do you even think i think we should start asking for suggestions on you know video topics what video do you think we should make delpy and i should make i mean yeah i just feel like sometimes we run out of topics and just like have to talk about weird stuff that doesn't even interest anybody and um so yeah uh just let's know your the comments below what video you think should we should talk about the next time or what we should rant about and uh before you guys put that in the comments below i'll see you down there and also in the future sometime and uh yeah peace out stay safe and i'll see you guys on the next video <laughs>